God damn it. It's time for Blumpkin and Friends, starring your host, the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. Hey kids, I'm the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin, and welcome to the 2017 Blumpkin and Friends RPS Super Gauntlet Extravaganza. That's the sounds of like the graphic we would have if we were, if we were like a TV show. So what we're going to do here is we're going to deviate from our typical format. So, I mean, we've commented on the air before that I don't normally play the RPS championship challenge i've only played one time and it was off air against number one fan tim and we did a best of three and i lost so because everybody else has played so many rounds it's time for me the host the reverend to get in on the action so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna run a gauntlet of opponents i'm hopefully going to beat them all this is merely to inflate my win-loss record and then, if I do good enough, I'm going to allow myself to take a run at Nurse Ashley. I will have the help of multiple assistants to verify that no one is cheating, so no one can question the validity of all of this. And I am going to go up against my daughters, the Juice, and the Chi-Chi. I'm also going to go up against Neil, who's usually pretty bad. <laughs> Number one fan, Tim. It's a mixed bag for him. He is a multiple-time champion, and Graham of It Radio. Because it was his bit, and I stole it. So here we go. It's, I'm just I'm going to do it. Joining me for round one is my opponent. The Juice. The Juice. Do you understand the game? Yep. You know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. We don't have time to talk about all the uninteresting things that are going on with you. Yep. We're only going to play RPS. You're funny. Just like to point out that the Juice is a former two-time champion. She comes to us with an overall record of five wins and four losses. Are you ready? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Blumpkin and Friends proudly brings to you the Rock, Paper, Scissors Intercontinental Championship Challenge Championship of the World! Can you do that more quiet? I cannot. That was too loud for my little ears. Ah, you bitch. Hand number one. What did you throw? I, you have to go first. <gasps> Scissors. <gasps> no! I threw a paper. Point oh. for you. Yes! Fuck. I'm not starting off too good. Hand number two. Oh, gonna go for a rock? I also threw a rock. No point. Okay. Hand number three. Um, paper? I also threw a paper. No point. Hand number four. I'm gonna go with rock. I threw a scissors. Ah, I win! Now we gotta play it out. Okay. Hand number five. Um, paper? I threw a scissors. Come on! Ah, well, did you pay attention to what happened? Stupid, stupid bitch. Your winner, with two points to my one point, the juice. Yay! That's, uh... I win! I win! I win! I win! Can I just Mm-mm. give you a piece of advice? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Remember how I told you that wind isn't a fucking word? It's I won. The point of this is that I was going to run the table and beat a bunch of people in a row, and uh, and I lost. You blew it! So, I'm still going to play a bunch of people in a row, but I, I did not win. 
What? Perhaps I got a little lofty in my expectations no, of running the table. It's not fucking time. Wait till I do it. Till I. Who's my opponent for round two? Yeah. What's your name? Deuce. No. What's your name? The Chi The Chi Chi. Yep. I couldn't beat a six year old. Now we're going for the almost four year old. Uh-huh. So we're going to play the rock, paper, scissors, yeah. intercontinental championship challenge. Okay. 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 You got to throw five hands. Every time I tell you to pick one, pick one. Round two. Fight. Hand number one. What do you throw? Walk. I threw scissors. Mm. Fucking Jesus Christ. Two, one. Did I win, Dad? You got the point. Yes. Hand number two. What are you throwing? Walk. I threw paper. Point for me. Mm. Hand number three. Again? Mm-hmm. I threw a rock, so it's a tie. Yeah. Hand number four. What rock you... again. I threw paper. So what? So I have two points and you have one point. You need to win this hand just to tie. Okay. Hand number five. Uh. What are you throwing? What? I see you're playing just like Neil would. You threw a rock. I threw... A paper, I win. What? Well, if you want to win rock, paper, scissors, then don't fucking throw the same hand every hand. I don't, I can't throw rock. You know there's also a paper and a scissors you can throw. We have a different full scissors. Well, then you would hope that I would throw a paper. But we're done now, you lost. Uh, One win for daddy. Get out of the chair. Because, because I'm starting with you, and I'm going back to you. We are going for round three of the RPS... Challenge! RPS Challenge. Round three. Height! Hand number one. Uh, paper? I threw a paper. No point. Really? Who won? Nobody me. yet. I'll tell you when we're done. Hand number two. Scissors? I threw a scissors. No point. Come on, Dad. Who won? Hand number three. Rock. Rock. I threw a scissors. You get a point. Yay! Fuck. You smashed me. Hand number four. I just do scissors. Oh, I threw a rock. Point for me. We are tied. We are tied. It's down to hand number five oh, no. to decide who is the winner of round three. Daddy! Yeah, I didn't win yet, so curb your enthusiasm. Uh, hand number five. five. Uh, paper again? God damn it! What? I threw a rock. Yeah. With two points to one point. Yes, Daddy! The winner, the winner of round three is... The juice. Mark! 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 And now, story time with number one fan Tim. Oh. All right, so I was about 10 years old, and uh, it was uh, summertime, but uh, I was down at the park, had to take a shit real bad, but the building was closed. Couldn't get in to do that, and that was back before they started putting porta potties all over the place. So, I tried to ride my bike home, but the I couldn't make it, so I ended up taking a shit in the woods. And I didn't want to wipe with leaves, because the last time uh, I shit in those woods, <laughs> my uh, buddy Alec gave me uh, itchweed. Why would you let anybody else ever hand you uh, I didn't realize what, what it with. I didn't realize what it was, but he's just like, "Here, have these." I'm like, "Sweet, thanks." And I wiped my ass, and I guess it was itchweed. I don't know. I mean, but he had to touch it, so was his hand itchy? I don't know. Because it's so funny thing is, I don't even think my ass ever itched. But he, how'd you know it was itchweed? I don't know. He said it was itchweed, and I was like, "Well, I never really itched." But he was probably just fucking with you. Maybe I don't know. in your head. So, so I refused to. You know, I was just like, "I'm just gonna." All right, so I'm gonna shit in the woods, pull my pants back up, and ride my bike home. Um, rode my bike home as fast as I could. It's a hot day. It was probably 
85, 90 degrees that day. Oh, humid. no. So uh, my ride home, man, I, it was like two blocks, two very long blocks from the park. You should have walked your bike home. I should have. I didn't sit down much, but I did a little. So when I get home, I uh, throw my bike down. And I go run in the house, and thank God nobody's home. Uh, I went in the bathroom and pulled my pants down so I could wipe, and like my whole underwear was just caked in shit. Fuck! It was bad. And I was like, okay, um, well, I'm not gonna put this in the laundry. So did you get anything on the on the whatever you wiped was in the woods? Because why would there be that much shit left around your asshole? No, I didn't wipe this time. I'm just telling you, the la- the one time before that. With my buddy. He, okay. So there's shit all over. I, I I cleaned myself as best I can and everything, and then I went and got clean underwear for my room. And the nasty, poopy underwear uh, I got on my bike, and I rode just to the end of the block there, and there was, uh, like, three pine trees on the corner. Mm-hmm. And there was, like, a hole between the, the branches, and I chucked the underwear in there. And uh, I never thought anything about it until... Um, the following Monday when I went to go back to school, I realized that was where my bus stop was. Oops. And I'm pretty sure if anyone saw me, they would have recognized me, especially the people that live there, because I was in front of the house like every day for five years. Really? So this is a unfortunate need to revisit the scene of the crime? Well, yeah, I guess, because when I went uh, to go look, I was just like, oh, wait, that's... Oh, and I went over and I kind of looked and the underwear wasn't there. So I don't know if... Well, no shit. Something... Somebody, somebody I don't know was if an probably took it or... in there and picked it up and threw it away for you. Why do people always dispose of the elements of a crime in places they're familiar with? I was just in a hurry to get rid of it because I didn't want to ride that far with underwear in my hand. Like if I have to kill somebody, I'm not going to bury him in my backyard or keep the body under the floor of my shed or drive him to my parents' house. Well, right. it, I was ten. I panicked. I'm going to go and leave them in a parked car in a public <laughs> place that has a deep lot with no cameras. If I had or, the ability. Or I would wrap them in several sheets and with some cinder blocks tied around the neck and the feet, throw them off the 610 bridge. But now I can't use those plans because I've just given them away. If you want to dispose of a body, the Mississippi River is excellent because of its fast current. But make sure you weigh it down with enough cinder blocks. Say you want to do it past the six ten bridge because that's where it's deepest. Duly noted. <laughs> so where were you on the night of? I was on the one sixty nine bridge, watching the Eagles. The old wooden bridge, the one that you can bike across. That I bike across. Mm, no, the boy you, to... you 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 are not thinking of are you thinking of an actual bridge or did you just throw out 169 i just threw out 169 okay because there's a bridge that goes over it that's made out of wood oh okay for a walking trail <laughs> now welcome to part two of the blumpkin and friends rps 2017 super Gauntlet extravaganza with me now is number one fan Tim. Number one fan Tim is here for verification purposes. What I did is I said I was going to go up against Neil and number one fan Tim and Graham. And if I do well enough, Ashley, but it's going to be non-title. So what I did is I texted out, send me your hands. And I showed Tim that I had written my hands out days ago. I already had it. And then I forwarded him the text. So he's going to read for Neil. Then he's going to play against me. Then he's going to read for Graham. Then he's going to read for Ashley. So this is how we're verifying that no one's cheating. Because why cheat? Only seven people listen to this fucking show anyway. Yeah. (laughs) So round four. Fight. Hand number one. Neil threw. Paper. I threw a scissors. Hand number two. Paper. Jesus Christ. I threw a scissors. Hand number three. Paper. I threw a scissors. (laughs) Hand number four. Paper. I also threw a paper. No point. Hand... Number five. Paper once again. Why wouldn't he? 
You know, when the Chi-Chi wins, she threw all rocks. How'd that work? She lost. <laughs> and I threw a rock, so one point for Neil. So, with three points to one point, your winner, the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. Hey, Sipboard. You're listening to Blumpkin and Friends. Yay for me. And I just want to reiterate that I wrote six sets of hands in a row, and I pretty much figured that he'd pull one of those, throw all the sames. That's been his theory lately is that's how it works. Uh, well, like the chances are you'll get at least two, maybe even three. Well, he can shit in one hand and hope in the other and see what fills up first. I'm now going to draw another set. There's a T for Tim. Round five. Fight! Throw a hand. I'm going to go scissors. I threw a paper. Point for you. Hand number two. I'm going to go rock. I threw a paper. Point for me. Hand number three. I'm going to go rock again. I threw a paper. Two points for me. What the f- Okay. Hand number four. I'm going to go paper. I threw a paper. No point. Hand number five. I'm going to go... Shit. <laughs> like, I'm going gonna... I'm gonna to go paper. I threw a paper. I stole Neil's strategy. That, uh, and with... I started thinking as we are going through this, I'm like, wait a minute. But I was waiting for a switch up in the last one. With two points to one point, your winner... The Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. Take that, you sons of bitches. I suck at this game. What can I say? Now we're going to go against Graham of It Radio. Mecca like a high, Mecca. Fuck, fuck, fuck! There's me. There's a G. Round six. Fight! Graham throws a rock. I threw a rock. No point. Hand number two. Paper. I threw a paper. No point. Hand number three. Scissors. I threw a rock. Point for me. Hand number four. Graham throws his scissors. Once again. I threw a paper. Point for Graham. Hand number five. Paper. I threw a scissors. With two points to one point. Your winner, the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. Yay! So now if you're keeping track... I just won three in a row. Three in a row, yep. Which entitles me now to go after Nurse Ashley. I said it would be non-title, which I'm fine with, because when I went up against the Juice, I lost. Then I went up against the Chi-Chi, and I won. And then I asked for a rematch with the Juice, and I lost. You blew it! (laughs) You know, Juice is pretty good at this. She won a few in a row. There's no she? science behind it. She just talks shit. She just throws out random stuff. See, that's so what I'm doing. I'm overthinking it. But I'm not going to underthink it like Neil. Why? What's wrong with his strategy? He, I don't think he wins ever with that strategy. Did he win once with that strategy? He has won one time. One time. I don't think he used that strategy. I have written down my hands. Hand number one. Ashley goes with scissors. I threw a scissors. No point. Hand number two. Ashley went with rock. The fuck? I went with rock. No point. Hand number three. Ashley went with paper. See, I fucking thought she would do that. I threw a rock. How dare you. Hand number four. She went with paper once again. 
I also threw a paper. No point. Now, what we need me to do now is score a point so we can go into overtime. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we can go to tiebreakers. Hand number five. She went with scissors. Fuck! I went with scissors. With one point to no points. Your winner, Nurse Ashley. Ah, you bitch. Fuck! 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 And now, story time. With number one fan, Tim. Okay, this one isn't exactly mine, but... I just need a story. I don't need you to own it. Yeah. So, a uh, co-worker of mine, he, he dates a little bit here and there. Um, Why? Well, he's single. He wants to Is have he a, a divorce, eh? No, never been married. Okay. Uh, served in the uh, Marine Corps for two tours and everything. And really cool guy. But, uh, you know, he's been dating. You know, he's looking for somebody. And he dated this one chick. I think that was like ten years younger than him. I think she was like just twenty one or twenty two. Maybe been there, done that. Maybe twenty three. Yeah. So um, he's only dating her for a week, I think, at this point. And one night, I think it was ten, eleven o'clock at night. Uh, his phone rings, and it's her phone, but it's a, a different girl on the phone. It, it was one of her friends, and he's just like, "Well, what's going on?" She's like, "Well, we're all at this beach party, and..." Such and such got completely wasted, and she can't drive, and she needs a ride home. So he's like, all right, I'll come down and get her. So he drives to the the lake where they were. How far was it, roughly? Um, I think he said it was about 20, 25 minutes from where he lived. Jesus Christ. So he, he goes and picks her up, and uh, she's wearing a bikini. She is soaked because they were in the water and everything like that. This is Go on. at night. Well, I think if I remember correctly, he described a black bikini. Um, Go on. Well, this is getting interesting. That's all I can remember. It. Did he show you a picture of her? No, I don't think I ever saw a picture of her. Why the fuck not? Because uh, I don't care. I don't know. <sighs> Why would you not <laughs> want to see a picture of a 22-year-old girl in a bikini? Well, I don't... The, he said she was wearing a bikini, so... Because they were at the beach. I never saw a picture of it, so... I've seen lions before on TV and at the zoo, but if I see one, I still look. He didn't have a picture to show Because it could be the most incredible fucking lion I've ever seen. It could be. It could be. I prefer tigers myself, but... So, anyway. So, he gets her in his... He puts a towel on his front seat, because he's got cloth seats, and gets her in there, you know, and she's all groggy and everything, and starts driving her back to her place. This sounds like the opening explanation of an episode of Dateline Mystery. <laughs> He, uh, he's driving along. She's got the window up a little bit. And he says, after a little bit, she kind of, she was kind of in and out of it. And all of a sudden she's like, like she's going to throw up. And he's like, oh no, 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 not in the truck. All of a sudden she leans forward. (laughs) And I sorry, I farted. (laughs) Like he's like, don't say like, holy shit. I mean, I guess it's just this massive fucking fart. And, uh, had the licorices, did she? Yeah. And he's just like, he's like, I could have swore it. Like when I went to get her out of my truck, when I got her home, there was going to be shit all over the seat. There wasn't. He was so, so thankful that, uh, she didn't shit in his truck, but he, um, he saw that as reason to end up breaking up with her <laughs> the next day. Just like, I'm shaking my head. No, cause <laughs> I would have banged her a few times first. Um, that's what I would have done. First off, if a woman can fart like that. You, but also, hello. <laughs> we should hang out more. All right, because somebody... How loose is the caboose kind of thing? Well, no, 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 no. I, I don't go in for those backdoor shenanigans like you do. Uh, I saw a picture of someone I know. This is not somebody I know well. This is a picture she sent to somebody that we both know. Mm-hmm. The picture was her bending over, pointing her butt at the mirrored door of her closet. On her pants is clearly a wet spot over where her anus is. And the story was, is that she sharted oh. on her way to work. So she had to turn around quick and go back home to change pants. All I right. sharted when I was like, around that time I couldn't wipe my ass and threw the underwear in the bushes. She was around in her that 20s. time I sharted. She's in her 20s. Okay, at that point, I don't think you should be doing that anymore. Okay, most people would be grossed out at a chick this attractive. 
showing a picture of a wet spot on the butt of her pants. I almost went out and bought a ring. <laughs> I just, I was like, that is so awesome that you're cool like that and not some hoity-toity bitch who would never tell a soul and take that to her grave. I mean, because there's shit you take to the grave. That's mm-hmm. not something you, no, 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 no. No, after you find it funny, I'd, I'd be willing to share it if something like that happened to me. Oh, but yeah. Honestly, I haven't. I haven't sharted in a really, really long time. I'm waiting for the appropriate time to broach the topic that I was in on the joke. Because it wasn't just the one photo. I guess she used to send Instagram videos or Snapchat videos of her farting <laughs> to the mutual friend of ours. Okay. And uh, and just be like, check this out. She just sent fart videos. You know, I, I Attractive, kind of successful, like great funny. sense of humor. Let's go. That's, I don't know how the hell she's single at present, but a girl like that almost never is without I think maybe men. it's because guys find her farting disgusting, which I, I don't, don't think she's it. out there fucking advertising that she's got an asshole like a bazooka. Well, does she date or does she just stay single? Well, she was seeing a guy for a number of months. They're no longer together as far as I can tell. Okay, because I was thinking if she's dating a lot and guys break other because it's like, oh my God, just chick farts. But if she's not dating anybody, well then. A girl like this doesn't get dumped. She's the dumper, not the dumpy. Oh, okay. Trust me. Okay. She's got options. That number probably in the hundreds of thousands if she wants to. (laughs) All it's going to take is a want ad on the right website with a few pictures, and you are going to have dudes coming out the woodwork like she is the last female alive. Sharpfart.com? I don't think that's a thing. We should check it out. But as I said in a previous episode, I would like to start a website, uglycunts.net, mm-hmm. where you send in pictures of your messed up vagina, and then I make comments about it. Yeah. Free material great, for me. Great website. You know, it's who doesn't want to look at pictures of vaginas all day you, long? You get to look at pictures of vaginas, and you get a laugh. And I get, yeah, I get to entertain people. I don't even have to write material. I just look at them and say the first thing that comes to mind. And some people would actually get off on that. Well, yeah, because they could see the vaginas. Mm-hmm. Best part is, is these are not going to be pretty vaginas. I mean, maybe there'll be some pretty vaginas. Some guys will be into that, though. I'm hoping there's pretty vaginas, but if they're messy vaginas, at least I don't have to smell the messy vaginas. Oh, God. Could you imagine what some of those smell like? Yeah, I do imagine. It smells like either <laughs> cream of mushroom soup or like a hot August fart. Or like B.O. Can I ask where the cream of mushroom soup comes in? I Have you ever been around your grandma and you tell that she's had like a recent fart and it kind of smells musty in there? Um, yeah, I'm past, yeah. Okay. Well, that smell is comparable to cream of mushroom soup. It has a real odd odor to it. I wouldn't say it's cream of mushroom soup, but I don't want to say what I think it is. Why? Because it's gross. That's the fucking point. That's why you got to say. Maybe it's not even your grandma. Maybe it's just other old ladies. Okay. A lot of old well, ladies smell like this. I've been in the bathroom. Not like I said. Not necessarily my grandma, but when older ladies have used the bathroom, like some of the dual sex, you know, it's one or the other. It's just the bathroom. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, like you know, a girl's been in there because you go in there and it smells like a used tampon. Do you smell a lot of used tampons? No, but I I don't know what else that smell could be because it's not a shit. Well, how do you know if it smells like a used tampon if you've never smelled a used tampon? Oh, I've, I've not, like, grabbed one out of the garbage can and smelt one, but I Are did... Are you sure? I did live with a woman, you know, the ex, who used pads and all that, and when you go to get it out of the garbage can, you kind of catch a whiff as you seal up the bag because... When you go to close it, it's just some of the air comes out and the smelly, nasty freaking pads are in there and... That's kind of what it smelled like. Never had that problem before. Okay. Never had that problem. Uh, The women that I lived with, and that means there's two of them, you know, uh, my ex and then the beast, uh, they knew to wrap that shit in toilet paper, mummify it, and stick it in the bottom of the garbage. This was wrapped up, but it still stink. Well, that's a good thing that she's not your current wife anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that sounds gross. Don't miss that smell. And I'd also like to point out that my elderly mother... When she goes pee, makes the bathroom smell like she went poop. God damn you! I remember you saying that before, yes. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Interact with the show on Twitter, at Blumpkin Show. That is at Blumpkin Show. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Blumpkin and friends. 
I hope you've enjoyed the Blumpkin and Friends 2017 Rock Paper Scissors Super Gauntlet Extravaganza. There were mixed results. I won some. I lost some. I said swear words in front of my children. I swore that I was going to get Nurse Ashley. For the record, that's not a threat of bodily harm. I'm the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. I'm number one fan, Tim. Good night. Hello, who is this? Taco Bell. Hi, Taco Bell. How are you? Good. I was hoping to speak with the juice. Oh, the juice is at McDonald's. She's what? She's at McDonald's. The juice is at McDonald's, but you, Taco Bell, decided to call me at home to ask me if I wanted anything. No, um, I just wanted um, to see if you want anything. Do you have any idea how fucking farcical this entire thing sounds? What? There it, again. there it is again. Your voice is changing. Why is your goddamn voice changing, Taco Bell? Um, I don't know. First it was like medium, then it got higher, now it got even lower. What the What the fuck? Oh, uh, it did not get lower. No, it, it got lower. Your voice got totally lower. Um, no, it's not it is Taco Bell. I never said your name. Why would you say her name if I never said her name? Say that again, I kind of dropped the phone. Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of dropped the phone because I'm, uh, I'm the juice. I'm not Taco Bell and I'm kind of full of shit. I am Taco Bell. <laughs> You're so fucking bad at prank calls. No, for real, it's Taco Bell. Okay, can I get a shredded chicken burrito and a tall order of fuck your face? <laughs>